Hello friends, Marv Eisen here from Timeless Dollar Trading Academy. We're going into our second trading week of 2024. And oh, by the way, we finally got a little bit of snow here in New York. So getting back to our chart and where the market is going, because that's the most important piece of information that any trader needs to know to be successful. Getting back to our chart, I want to start by pointing out something on my Taylor calculator. And this is my Taylor calculator. The dates are in the leftmost column. And in this column marked today's close, see, these are the closing prices of the S&P E-mini for these dates. And you'll notice beginning in Wednesday, January 3rd, market closed at 47.88. The day after that, 47.47. The day after that, 47.30. The day after that, 47.35. Now I want to, now I've transposed those, those numbers here to the right. I've, I've made a little bit of a calculation here showing the difference between the closing prices in these succeeding days. And you'll notice that the market has been going down each day except for Friday, the market rose five points. And we can see that visibly when we look at our Taylor calculator as placed on the S&P e mini chart. And what you're looking at here is my chart of four days, and this is Tuesday, January 2nd, Wednesday the 3rd, Thursday the 4th, Friday the 5th. Now, you'll notice that the market has been trading down each day. Well, everybody knows the market's been trading down each day, but we want to know information about the next trading day. Everyone can see and knows that the market has been declining during the first week of 2024. But you'll notice that from Friday to Monday. And here I'm going to give a treat to all those who don't have the Taylor calculator. And if you don't, you should, if you're trading E-minis or any other market. You'll notice that the market is, the range is just about the same as it was on Friday. Here's Friday with, the, with support at 47.14, resistance 47.50. And here's Monday, the 8th, 47.12, 47.51, so about the same. And I wouldn't be surprised to notice that Friday, the market began trading, moved up to the Taylor trading range resistance level, moved down to uh, equilibrium, which, which of course was the close on Thursday. But on Monday, tomorrow, the market, if it opens down here, 47.13, or anywhere in this lower half of the calculated trading range, I'm willing to make a projection that the market is set to trade up on Monday, January 8th, but we'll see. And if you don't have the Taylor cal calculator, again, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Very simple. It's super simple to use. I know it looks complicated, but the dates are in the left. And all you have to do is enter the dates each day on the left and enter four numbers. The days open, high, low, and close. That's it. All the other numbers are calculated automatically, and the columns in yellow are support and resistance. And the column here in gray is the day's trading range. So that's it. So trade safely, use lots of patience. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar Trading Academy.